All right, here it is. It's the awkward one. It's uh, it's the weird one. It definitely might be a laughable one, but we can be adults about this. We can be civil. We can be civilized, rational, mature, adult. Who am I kidding? I, of all people, I cannot be an adult, but I can be informative. What's up? So, as people probably know, I do Spider-Man cosplays. If you don't know that already, hi, what's up? My name's Miles and I do Spider-Man cosplays. If you do know that already, that in that little seven second intro probably wasn't uh, very useful for you, but maybe that's our intro. Hey, what's up? I'm Miles, I do Spider-Man cosplays. Nah, that would be kind of lame because I also do a lot of other cosplays. Should I do a quick slideshow of other cosplays I do? Nah, that's not necessary. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Anyway, like I said, I do Spider-Man cosplays. I've done them for a very long time to the point where I've made every mistake possible a Spider-Man cosplayer can make. Up to, but not limited to, you know what it's about. You don't have to make me say it. Like if you really need me to say it and really need me to describe it in full detail, full length, full everything, I can totally, you, I think we can use our imagination and kind of picture, you really don't need me to say it. It's lens fog, duh. What happens when your lenses fog up? No, nah, I'm playing. Y'all know what it is. How's the suit? Uh, the suit's great. It's a little tight around the old web shooter. Parker. It's about the old web shooter and not these ones. Listen, I know it could be a pretty interesting topic or pretty rough topic to talk about, but as a Spider-Man cosplayer, I feel it as though it is my obligation and responsibility to share this information out with you to not only help any Spider-Man cosplayer who struggles with this information, struggles with this execution, but also to spare the eyes of everyone because let's face it as good as your cosplay might be nobody wants to see that this goes for everybody you know the the ladies the gentlemen uh no matter what your gender identity is this goes for you you should always be wearing something under your suit and sometimes you might not know what to wear so like i said i've been doing cosplay for a decent amount of time i found a pretty good method but i know that there are better methods out there so if you've gotten this far in the video and you still don't know what i'm referring to let me explain the anatomy of spider-man is the anatomy of a male figure. Obviously there is a section within the anatomy of a male figure that when put under a skin tight suit will evidently show through that skin tight suit. And it's not something you really want to be showing through that suit. You might want to be showing a lot of things through the suit like your muscles. If you've been working out, you definitely want to show those through the suit. That's what a lot of cosplayers like to do. But let's face it, nobody wants to be seeing down there what's going on. And it is your responsibility as a cosplayer to be as well dressed, as well mannered, and as well kept as you can be, that includes that situation. But I will give you the benefit of the doubt. It is pretty difficult to find a method that works, that best compresses what you need, that best compresses that area, that best kind of compresses down. Wow, there is no way to word that sentence without being weird. I'm just gonna say it. That best compresses down what you need to in order to be a flush looking Spider-Man. So, as I always talk about, I don't really care what you look like, I don't care what your body type is, and nobody should care what your body type is. You can cosplay Spider-Man, and you have every right to do so, and I encourage everyone to do so. However, this is, this is kind of a rule. When I say that there's no rules or restrictions in cosplay, I mean it, but this is more or less a formality and a respectful thing to others around you. You should definitely take this into consideration and more or less take it into practice. Um, this, is, this is essential. This is something that you need to do in any form of a skin tight like suit. Spider-Man just happens to be the most popular. This would apply to everything, such as like a Green Lantern cosplay, a Black Panther cosplay, Nightwing, Robin, anything that has those skin tight lycra suits, you should definitely be in this category and paying attention. So the issue is that Spider-Man suits are skin tight. They like to show everything, which really sucks though, because the one thing they don't show is muscle. They like to compress muscle, but show everything else. So it's really, really frustrating. So what do we do? How do we hide what we need to hide? There are actually a few methods you can do. The first method is the most janky method, but still works. And it's what I did before I discovered some of the other ones. It's essentially you get compression pants. If you don't know what compression pants are, there's something like this. So it's essentially a thinner version of your Spider-Man suit. If you ever played like a sport like baseball or football and you've had to wear an Under Armour shirt or long johns like this, you know what these are. Now, while they might look like leggings, they actually are kind of different. Not necessarily in the sense of what they look like because they look identical to leggings. When you put them on, it's no different than what you're wearing of leggings. The difference is they're very thin. They're very thin. They're very breathable. You can wear them and not sweat entirely. You won't completely die wearing them. If you wear like leggings that are meant to be worn out like felt or cotton or any form of fabric material, you're gonna suffer from heat a lot. It's gonna build up. Uh, some people do that and it works for them because it's a little thicker. Uh, if that works for you, more power to you, that works. I've done that before, but my personal preference is compression pants. So the first method is to essentially buy a bunch of these 
and layer them up. Imagine you're on a blank slate. Not gonna explain what that means. You know what a blank slate is when you're getting dressed. You have to start somewhere. You're starting on a blank slate, there's nothing there. Put on a pair of underwear. That's essential, that's, that's step one. If you didn't assume that was step one, we have a problem. <laughs> that needs to be step one. Put on a pair of underwear, then grab your compression pants. What you can do is you can kind of test how many you need based on your Spider-Man suit. Some Spider-Man suits are thick, some are thinner. Like I said, on print costume, they offer two options, like regular like and ultra thick Lycra. One is a little bit thicker than the other one. Depending on which one you're wearing, you might need to layer up a little bit better. What I recommend is grab your spider suit, put on a pair of compression pants, and then put your spider suit on and see how it looks. If you see more than you want to see and it's not compressed enough, grab another pair of compression pants, slide them on top, put the suit back on. You probably shouldn't need to have more than two pairs of compression pants on over your underwear, but if you need to layer up to three, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's method one if you don't wanna expand out farther. Method two is where we start getting a little bit more intricate, is where people start kind of straying away a little bit. Ironically enough, right now, I can't find the piece I need to show you, so I'm gonna put it up on screen, the first option. Oh yeah, it's that guy. You knew I was gonna talk about it at some point. Now, don't click off quite yet, let me explain. In the Spider-Man cosplay community, you've probably heard the term floating around dancer's belt, and you have no clue what they're talking about. This is a dancer's belt. A dancer's belt is essentially a thick piece of lycra that goes over the old web shooter to help kind of tuck the sheets in and compress what we need to. Dude, I am just playing jump rope with the guidelines right now. It's okay, people have done worse. I swear to God, YouTube, I'm wholesome. I'm just trying to help people. So the point of a dancer's belt is essentially to be your last line of defense between you and your Spider-Man suit. It has since been the most effective method for me of wearing that. However, I don't wear this one. I've tried this one. I'm not particularly a fan of it, but I found a different one. Kind of like this. It's this. So it's a little different. Obviously, your legs go through those little holes. You can imagine how to put it on. But then this goes kind of up into your stomach a little bit and it folds in there. The reason I like this one a little better is because it's thicker and it's because it's more seamless into the suit. It disappears a little easier. It avoids having like a bunch of stuff down at the waist area. So I prefer that one. However, using this one, there's no problem using that one. Uh, I know several people who do use that one. I use that one for a while and it works, but you don't just use it. So the method that I use for that would be underwear, compression pants, dancer's belt, compression pants, spider suit. Or depending on if you have a thicker spider suit, underwear, compression pants, dancer's belt, spider suit. You never just wanna be wearing the dancer's belt commando. Probably not the best idea. If that works for you, more power to you. That would not work for me uh just in terms of sheer preference i would not want to do that but hey you know whatever works so the same rules apply as when i'm wearing this one obviously underwear first then a pair of compression pants throw this bad boy on then the spider suit if i need a little bit more coverage i'll throw another pair of compression pants on then the spider suit again now any sort of alternate method like if you want to wear leggings under the suit more power to you some people wear like really thin sweatpants however some issues you might run into is obviously heat exhaustion you're going to be producing a lot more heat and nowhere for it to go if you do those options the second option is obviously the waistline you're going to have that bunched up waistline that sweatpants offer um if you can find a way around that and it works for you again more power to you that's great um it's just a lot riskier of a method and a lot harder to get to look right. Obviously it's all touch and go. It's all about what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and what your method works in the end. Every person is different. Every body is different. Every spider suit is different. Everyone's gonna have a different combination of things that works for them. It's all about what works for you. However, this video is to show you some methods that might work. So obviously I'm gonna go over them again. You had option one, just layer up your compression pants. Option number two, layer your compression pants with a dancer's belt. Option number three, leggings or sweatpants. My personal preference and the most professional looking option to me is option number two uh, with the compression pants and dancer's belt combo. It's worked for me in the past, it works for me now, and it does a really good job doing its job, which is a very essential job, by the way. So, in most of my videos, this would be the part of where I test something, show you something, or try something on to show you how it works. If I was building web shooters, I would try them on. If I was building a belt, I would try that on, and if I had a new suit, I would put it on. However, given the nature of this video, and for the sake of everyone, and my own preference and comfort, I'm not going to go through the method of putting those things on to show you. I'll instead just throw up some pictures of my Spider-Man suit, and you can see that it's doing its job very well. But like I said, I'm not gonna go through and try out all these methods. I don't think that would be very appropriate for this video. This is more or less an informative video to tell you and show you some different methods. Because I know there's somebody out there who is just struggling with the old web shooter and best I can do to help you, I will. And if you wanna share this video around to help those people out, by all means, please do. I would really appreciate that. And I'm sure they would too. So that's gonna be it for this part of the video. I went over that. Uh, if you're not interested in anything else, you feel free to click off. Uh, loved having you. Peace 
peace and love. For the returning subscribers, um, couple updates. Yes, I still owe you a 10,000 subscriber video. Um, again, you guys managed to get almost to 11 before I was able to get the video out for 10. And mainly it's because I didn't know what video I wanted to do. Uh, I asked up on Instagram what we should do. And there were a lot of suggestions. Um, the main one being the room tour. So that's probably going to be the one we do. But I'm also going to mix in some other things because I don't want to just do one thing. Uh, 10,000 is a big number. You guys are awesome. So I want to do more stuff for you guys. Feel free to leave comments down below. Again, I read them all. I reply to as many as I can. You're more than welcome to recommend more things. In terms of a giveaway, I would love to do a giveaway. Um, but your boy ain't really liquid right now. You know, I have things to give away and obviously I will order things to give away but just like my artwork prints or cosplay prints and I have no problem doing that But in terms of like giving something away like a spider-man suit I barely even have the ability to afford like my own spider-man suit Let alone give one out as much as I would love to do that However, I'm gonna put it in stone right now And I want you guys to check me on this if we get to a certain point So you can save this and save the date and be like yo miles You said this you're gonna do it and I want you to do it because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be one with my word. If we get to a point on this channel where I am able to, how do I word this? Where I'm able to fund more projects for myself in a more comfortable manner. My first priority will of course be giving away a Spider-Man suit. Um, that will 100% be something I do when I reach the financial level to do so with the aid of this channel. At the moment, I don't monetize anything. That will probably have to change if we want to give away Spider-Man suits. So I'm just saying, if in the future you see an ad on a video, there's a reason. Anyway, uh, uh, I don't know how the guidelines work about talking about that kind of stuff, so I'm gonna keep it kind of keep it kind of scarce. Um, but you you get the idea, right? At the moment, it's not a possibility, but the second it becomes a possibility, I'm going to do it 100%. Because uh, I want to give back to you guys, of course. If I could give a Spider-Man suit to every one of you, I totally would. If I could give a suit of Stormtrooper armor to every one of you guys, I would 100%. But that goes to say for a lot of things. There's a lot of things like. Uh, my recent cosplay project that I want to do, Cade 6, that's been put on the back burner and I haven't really done anything with it because I'm not really in a position to just be blowing money on pieces and supplies and stuff that I'm never going to use if there's going to be no sort of revenue back. You know what I mean? And it's just, you know, it's just a point in life. Uh, we get past it, of course. Yeah, that 10K video is going to come soon. I just have not had time to fully record a video. I've been incredibly busy. I had like an hour today, which is why I wanted to do, th do this quick video um, to at least show you like, hey, hi, I'm still here. I'm alive. We're doing things. I will do the 10K video, probably the next video, but don't hold me to that because I still owe you guys a foam web shooter video and a DIY face shell video. But we do have a step. I do have a Fruit Loop box which is what I'm gonna be making the face shell out of. So um, yeah, if you wanna make a face shell, go get a Fruit Loop box and then tell me when you have your Fruit Loop box and I got you. Um, but yeah, as always, you guys are great. You know, we, we struggle, we fall, things happen in life, um, but at the end we make things work. So anyway, thank you so much for 10K subscribers. You guys are absolutely insane. I never imagined we would get this far this quick, um, but let's keep running. Let's keep pushing and keep moving, you know? Uh, we're all in this together. High School Musical clip. Like I said, this is your channel as much as it is mine, so let me know what you wanna see and how you been. And happy late Spider-Man day. Peace and love, do good things, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, that was the wrong side.